Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Chromebook 3100. Uh, it's a common school Chromebook. And I'm gonna show you how to open it up and access your battery if you need to replace it. So first thing you wanna do guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. Then we're gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Okay, so to take the bottom case off, you have three screws on this side, three screws here, one screw there, and two screws here. So we're gonna go across and take all those out. One thing of note guys, most of these screws are held in by washers so they're not gonna actually come out. Um, just so you don't waste time trying to pull those up. After the screws are undone, I'm gonna take my small metal pry tool and go around the seam and, and take off this bottom case. Okay, so that comes off pretty easily. There's nothing really on the bottom of that. So we'll, we'll put that aside. After you take your bottom case up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. So to get the battery up, there's a screw there, there's a screw here, and then the battery plugs in right there. So I'll take out those screws first. This battery plugs pretty easy. You just grab this black tab and you pull down toward the battery and that unplugs. So that's pretty easy to get that battery out unless I missed a screw somewhere. Oh, I didn't miss a screw. There's a little black piece of tape right there that's holding the battery down, so that needs to come up. So that was also some double-sided tape right there that was holding your battery down. Uh, but after you get that battery up, that's what you're looking at for a battery. Okay, so fairly simple operation, guys. I will have information in the description for the battery, uh, the voltage, the watt hours, the model number. I'll also have a link to the various replacement parts you can get for that computer, including the battery. I'll have that below in the description. If you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. However, if you do need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.